I am standing in the patch of no-till tomatoes and I'm going to give you guys a progress update on what is happening here as well as what's happening in the tilled tomato section over there. Uh, but before we get into that, I want to show you guys the steps it took for us to plant the tomatoes in here, the no-till tomatoes right in this section right here. Um, it all goes back to 2016 in last fall when this area was planted in a cover crop of hairy vetch and winter wheat. And so the first step we did was in the springtime, uh, we made wheatgrass shots and we drank all the juice. And then when it was time to plant the tomatoes, we went through with a sickle bar mower and we cut down cover crops and that became our first layer of mulch. But let's, uh, let's go back in time and check it out. I just grabbed Henry's uh, notebook for the uh, the middle section, which is uh, right over here. And uh, in this bed here, there's a cover crop, and now we're gonna start doing a, a, a no-till experiment where we're just gonna dig some small holes and plant our tomatoes in there for a no-till experiment. And we're just gonna mulch them right over. See if we can keep the uh, soil structure, the mi soil microbiology, and uh, maybe some mycelium. So it's gonna be 18 inches. So these are going to be 18 inches. You're going to measure out. Maybe put the first one 18 inches away from the from the pole. Your first flag going at 18. Okay. And then do 32 at 18, and the rest of these are at two feet. Okay. All the way to the end. Be real particular about uh, knocking it up, just a nice hole like that that we can plant into. Okay. Outside. 
because if you do that, now this pole is just like a, another plant. So I don't go around the outside of that, I go around the inside. So it's always outside, inside, outside, and even the pole, you come back on the inside. And you pull as hard as you can and wrap that around. And we're always keeping, always keep tension on that, on the string, you're always holding tension, don't, cause it'll, if I let go now, it'll, it'll loosen up a little bit there and we don't want that to happen. We want it to be stuck tight, so you always pull on it. So now I've come around, now I'm coming around the inside, so I'm back to the same outside, inside, outside again. Okay. And uh, what's the optimal place to put the string? Yeah. Um, the first, this first one, it kind of depends on how tall the plants are. Um, about where I got it. <laughs> if the plants were smaller, like over there, I'd probably go down a little bit lower. You can catch them about like here the first time. I want to go high enough that it's it's doing some good, but not so high that it's going to put a lot of tension on that top of that plant. So the first one, it's kind of, kind of shooting basically for the middle of the plant, like, no matter how big the plant is. And it's...